Bay, let's talk in this sweet spot. What's up, y'all? Tania B here. So today I'm gonna be talking about the sweet spot. This is something that I had got from uh, me and my partner, or my ex partner now, that we had got. We had went to counseling with one of my mentors, and she had mentioned to us about the sweet spot because her and I would just get into a lot of like arguments and heated discussions, and we really needed a lot of. Uh, support when it came to communication because that was something that was you know it was challenging it was really challenging for us and so what our coach had told us she said well I call this the sweet spot and the sweet spot is where you and your partner will not I will, let me just say this first okay she discussed that when when there's like a heated uh, discussion going on and like you know it's something like pressing and like you probably pissed off, you're mad, upset, you're sad, whatever the case may be, she gave us some guidelines. And one, she said, never, ever, ever have a heated discussion in the bedroom. She said the bedroom is where it's your sanctuary, is where you go for peace, and that's where y'all, you know, make love. She said... That is never a great idea to have a heated discussion actually in the bedroom. She said, that's absolutely no. That's horrible. She said another thing. She said, never have a heated discussion when you're hungry. And you know what? I really can vouch for that because when I'm hungry, like I just, I get hangry. I don't know if you the same way, but I just naturally just get upset. <laughs> okay. Like I just get agitated and I'm just like, dang, I, I gotta be hungry because I don't know why, like I just get mad when I'm, when I'm like hungry. And so if you have like a, a pressing issue and you hungry too, like it can just make things just like worse, okay? And another thing she said, she said, if you can, try not to even really have it inside of the house. Because one, when you have those type of conversations and stuff, like they kind of make memories, you know, like... You know, if you ever do something with like your, your partner or something, like some places like will still remind me of my partner because we have been there, you know, maybe we had like sex in like a park or something like that. So that park will remind me if I go by it, um, like a restaurant that we used to always go to will remind me of them. So she's saying that's the same kind of concept when you, if you're having like heated discussions in like a, in your home, you, you're going to more than likely think about those uh, not so good moments <laughs> in your home. So what she said is when it comes to the sweet spot, she said you would like to have it in a spot. Like if you absolutely have to have it in your home, then okay. But she recommended that either like go out in nature, um, like go to like a park or somewhere. Um, that's basically what she said. Like just try to go out in nature somewhere where you're not really, especially not in the bedroom, and really probably not in the house, okay? And then she said, what you what you would do is, before y'all do that, make a guideline of y'all rules. Now, everybody rules and relationships will be different. So it's specifically what it is that you and your partner, what are your guidelines? And so when my partner and I, when we had first um, did it, we had made a list and her and I was together, you know, right before that, like we, we did like a prayer together so that we'll be, you know, clear minded. And so she got the paper out and we just started brainstorming. Okay. Like what are the guidelines? Okay. And some of the things that we came up with, she really came out with a lot of the things was like one, I remember it was no vendellas. So whatever is said in that sweet spot, it stays there, okay? Like, if you say something that probably upsets you or whatever, our rule is not to take it outside of that particular moment, okay? The other thing was, say your piece. So whatever it is that the person is feeling, um, expressing themselves, you can say your piece while we're in that basically sacred area. Another thing was, okay, each of us have 15 minutes. So... She speaks for 15 minutes and then I will speak for 15 minutes and then she will speak for 15 minutes again and then I will speak for 15 minutes again. Okay, so it'll be um, what like an hour all together. All right. Another thing that we had mentioned was what was something else that we had mentioned? Okay, so no vendella. Oh, do not take things personally. That was another big thing that we had was look when we speak, we, we're, we're just truly being our true selves. 
let's not take anything personally okay another thing was one of our guidelines was this is a safe space so it's safe to speak about things that you may be nervous to speak about you may be afraid to speak about um things that has been like bothering you for a really long time like this is a safe space okay where we need to go so that was a few things that i can still remember from things that were on our um, sweet spot also another thing was how often are we going to go to our sweet spot all right so we decided once a week once a week we will make sure that we go there and we're going to do that okay and another another thing um was if it is something pressing or like something that you really need to get off your chest or whatever then to save it for the sweet spot like don't just start blabbing it everywhere you know in the, in the home or the bedroom and everything like that save it for the sweet spot okay so if you want to try this with your partner that's a great way you can do this okay um make a guideline you want them make a guideline whatever it is for you specifically for you two everyone's different um if you want to use some of the things that we have used please do <laughs> because it was really great all right and so we had did that for you know a, a while in our relationships and i'm telling you like it felt so much better when it came to our communication and how we were um, responding to each other how we were reacting to each other with just certain you know heated discussions because we really had to be mature beings we really had to be spiritually mature with some of the things that we were saying you know because some of the stuff that you know she told me i was like oh my goodness <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But I really had to keep true to our guidelines, okay? And I think that was very... I messed up one time when I felt like a little... I did a lot of little Mandela, you know, because it was something serious that she said. And I was just like, dude. And, like, it was lingering. Like, I could feel that what she said was, like, lingering or whatever. But I had to, like, shake that off. So, you know, before you go, like, her and I would you know, maybe like light some sage or something to clear out any like negative energy where we like pray before the sweet spot um, so that everything could, you know, we can, you know, let love in, you know, we can let love in. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, if you are having some type of communication issues, that's something that we had got from um, our coach, our mentor um, at the time when we were dating. And that's something that she had mentioned and is very, very, very beneficial. Um, if you actually take heed and really stick to you all's guidelines, I'm telling you, it could definitely shift your relationship when it comes to communication and how you two um, react with each other and how you probably love each other all right so I appreciate every single one of you watching this video definitely hit the thumbs up if you like definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to catch my next videos ring that bell I love you keep loving yourself just know I appreciate you all right peace